For most people, buying a car with all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive isn't about this. It's more about this. I'm gonna show you what you need to know about all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive because nothing feels better than making an informed decision except maybe being warm and dry. Guys, guys! <sighs> That's more like it. Hey everybody, I'm Deshella from Edmonds where we're known as the car testing pros. We've teamed up with the experts over at CarMax to help you find your right vehicle. Okay, so we can't really control the weather, but when you buy a car, you're buying it for all 12 months out of the year. So hey, even if the sun is shining when you go shopping, you just honestly never know when. I see how it is. You know, we're gonna have to have a talk. If you appreciate me getting soaking wet to help you out, why not like and subscribe? <sighs> okay. Now, to finish this video from the comforts of this toasty... <sighs> Man, let's get into the car. All-wheel drive is showing up in more vehicles like this Nissan Altima. It's really a great solution for keeping you on the road in all sorts of conditions. If you live with rain and snow, the problem you're gonna have to deal with is traction. Cold, wet weather can make roads more slippery, and the last thing you want is to get stuck. A normal commuter sedan, like the regular version of this Altima, sends power from the engine to a single pair of wheels. In this case, the front wheels. If you've got some nasty weather and one of your wheels can't get traction, your car is gonna have a hard time getting moving. All-wheel drive lets your car send some power to all four wheels, so you have more traction to work with. So it's super easy. In most all-wheel drive vehicles, the connection between the front wheels and the back wheels isn't fixed. That means when things get slippery, snowy, or when you're going around a turn, the car helps you out by changing where it sends power, front or back. Best of all, you don't have to do anything. The car does the thinking for you. When you're just cruising and you don't actually need the extra help, your car will readjust the front wheel drive and it will actually help improve fuel economy. All-wheel drive is so easy and helpful that it's available on tons of different types of vehicles. SUVs, sedans, even some small pickup trucks too. You have a lot of choices if you're searching for an all-wheel drive vehicle. But what if you want to get away from it all? You know, go out into nature, smell some fresh air, get a little bit of sun in your face. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh, I'm gonna need something bigger. The all-wheel drive on this CRV works pretty much the same as it does on the Altima, but the CRV is a little higher off the ground, which is actually really good because it means that you can worry less about things like small rocks or a little bit of built-up snow. So essentially, your all-wheel drive system is solving the same problem, making sure you don't get stuck and keeping you moving when there's less traction. And believe me, some of them are really good. Check out our video of the Subaru Crosstrek to see what I mean. All-wheel drive can get you pretty far, but it still has its limits. Now this is where I'm gonna need a four x four. Like all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive is about getting power to all the wheels, but a four-wheel drive vehicle or a four x four does it a little differently. Four x fours like this forerunner connect the front and rear axles with a chunky piece of gear called a transfer case. This splits the power 50-50 between the front and the rear and makes both axles turn at the same speed. By locking things up like that, a 4x4 doesn't have to do anything when the going gets tough. It just powers right through, which is actually really perfect for rugged terrain like this one. The same goes for deeper snow too. So it's actually really great if you live in an area where the roads don't get plowed regularly. And 4x4s can also have more tricks for off-road duty. A taller suspension helps clear bigger obstacles and mechanical parts like low-range gearboxes and locking differentials help increase traction even more. But all that stuff only matters if you're doing serious off-roading like this. For right now, all you need to know is that all of that extra equipment is strictly off-road and low speeds only, okay? And that your vehicle is not gonna do anything for you. Like when I say none, I mean none. You have to decide when you wanna use it and you have to turn everything on and off yourself. So, just so you know. What about on the road? Well, first things first, I'm gonna switch it from four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive. Cause remember when I said this? This splits the power 50-50 between the front and the rear and makes both axles turn at the same speed. 
But on asphalt, especially when it's dry, you can wear your tires even faster and you can even damage your vehicle for driving it in four wheel drive. So four wheel drive can help you get out of sticky situations, but once you're up to speed and driving around town, you definitely don't want it on. Even if it's turned off, all that hardware is bulky and heavy, which is why you mostly find it on trucks and larger SUVs. So if you are searching for a four wheel drive, just know that your model selection will be limited and whatever one you find will probably not get the best gas mileage. But on the plus side, they'll be way better at towing heavy loads than all wheel drive vehicles. So keep that in mind. Both all wheel drive and four wheel drive are about getting power to all four wheels of your vehicle. They just do it differently. All wheel drive is kind of like the nerd thinking things through and calculating how to help you out, which makes the four wheel drive the jock. You call the play and it powers through. Of course, you can find variations on both of these systems and some that blur the lines, but here's what you need to know if you're choosing between an all wheel drive vehicle and a four x four. If you do a lot of driving on the road and you want something that can do well in the winter, but you don't plan on doing any serious off-roading, then you're better off going with an all wheel drive vehicle. Now, if you do a lot of driving on the dirt, in deep snow, and unplowed roads, if you just plan on doing some more of those extreme off-road obstacles, or if you wanna tow something heavy, then you should definitely check out some 4x4s. Now where's my cocoa? 